This is a user guide video for the Merlin 3D projector Android. In this video we will explain the functionality of this device and also the proper way to use it. So the contents of this box are as follows. First of all you have the DC power cable. You need to connect this to the projector in order to make it work. Aside from that you have the option of two remotes. One is the wireless keyboard and mouse and the other one is the IR remote. You have the option of either remote but with the wireless keyboard you will have a dongle that you will connect to the back of the projector and then you have this wireless keyboard where you have the full functionality of the keyboard and aside from that when you reverse it you have the full functionality of the mouse as well. So the IR remote also comes bundled in with this uh, projector. Um, it cannot be used as a mouse, as in it does not have a cursor, but you can select your options inside the projector using this tool. Then you have the AV wire, which you need to connect from your projector into your TV in order to display the contents of the 3D projector. At the back of the projector you can see that you have a multitude of options. First off, you have three USB slots. In one of the slots you will have the dongle for the wireless keyboard and for the rest of them you can have your external memory. Aside from that, you have a slot over here for your memory card, you have your HDMI port and you have your LAN port if you want to connect it to uh, LAN. But you have internal wireless so you can also connect it to wireless internet. To initialize the 3D projector you need to plug it in so you connect the wire into the DC in port. Now we will see the internal interface of the 3D projector. As you can see it's very dynamic because it displays at 700 lumens. The first thing that we see is the online video option. The first thing that we have over here is we have the option of Hulu Plus where you can view your videos uh, directly from Hulu Plus into the projector. Aside from that you also have YouTube. Uh, the app is already installed in the projector and it's very very useful. Aside from that you also have Google Play Movies and TV and then you have your online TV option um, which is also like Hulu Plus. Aside from that under the local options you have your integrated media player uh, and you have your HDMI uh, option. Uh, from it you can connect any external device where, through HDMI into the projector and just display the contents. You can also display the contents through a VGA cable or you can uh, display it through an AV cable. The next option that we have is the settings. Inside your settings you can see that the interface is pretty much like any Android device. You have your app manager. When you open your app manager you can see that you have all your applications that have been already installed. Aside from that, you also have all the apps that are in your SD card. Now we'll go back and you'll see that you also have your network settings. When you open your network settings, you can control all your wireless settings and you can connect to Wi-Fi hotspots directly from the projector itself. The next setting that we have is the image settings. And inside your image settings, you can adjust your image, you can zoom in, you can zoom out, and you can adjust the image to however it is that you prefer. Aside from that, the other settings that you have are your video settings. Inside your video settings, you can see that you can set the color temperature, you can set the balance. Aside from that, you can also control the sound, or you can uh, control your speakers as well. Uh, the other option that you have are your um, other settings, and in this, you have your personalization settings where you can sort of personalize the projector to however it is that you prefer. So you have your, um, your for example, your LED timeout and the power source that you're using and also the boot type. You can also control the wallpaper if you want. Then you have your Bluetooth settings. Inside your Bluetooth settings, you can see that if you have a Bluetooth dongle, you can connect to your device through Bluetooth um, Aside from that, you have your language settings where you can control the language if uh, you do not want to display the contents in English or any other language that you prefer. 
So you also have your um, Android keyboard settings from here. Then you have your date and time settings if you want to control, uh, if you want to change your uh, time zone or if you want to convert it to a 24 hour format or a 12 hour format. Then in your other settings, you have your system maintenance settings. In it, you can do a factory reset or you can update the system or you can get any information that you want about the 3D projector. All the information that you need about this particular projector will be in the about section and you will see how much space that you have and how much space that is uh, included with this one. In this particular model, we are giving 3 GBs of internal space. One of the most exciting features about this projector is the U-Console option. U-Console is basically an app that you can use to connect from either your Android device or your iOS device and you can control this projector from your phone itself. So what you do is that you scan the QR code that you see on the screen. There's one for Android and there's one for iOS. And when you scan that, you download an app. And from that app, you can control everything that you would possibly need to in your projector. Um, the next option that we have is the others option. And in this, you have all your apps that you have downloaded. So you have your Gmail, you have your Outlook, you have your Facebook, and the Play Store is already there. And all the other games that you might have downloaded will all be displayed in this option. Action. Now we will see how the internal media player of this 3D projector will work and also how we can convert normal videos into 3D. When we go inside this option, we see that a multitude of options come up. First of all, you have your SD card option, so you have all the content that is stored in your SD card in this particular folder. When we go in this folder, we see all the videos that we have. For 3D videos, when we play it, you can see that, first of all, it will be displayed in a normal view, that is, images will be side by side. We need to convert this into 3D, so we will go down into the 3D option, click on it, and then select the option that we want. Left, right is the format that is most suitable for this particular video. So when you click on it, you will see that the video gets changed into 3D. To turn 3D off, you will go and you will click on the off option and then the image will go back to how it used to be without 3D. To view the contents of the 3D projector, you will require these 3D glasses and these are chargeable and are used to view the 3D contents of the 3D projector.